And we know that fasting increases the release of human growth hormone. There was a great study that came out recently looking at a cohort of young healthy men is what they did this study in. They fasted them for two days and on average it showed that it spiked their human growth hormone release by 500%. So these massive five times increases in HGH release just simply by fasting for for a 48 hour period, which I appreciate is a pretty long fast for someone who, who isn't experienced in that area. But when we look at the overall safety of fasting for the average healthy person, the, the science tells us that you can probably go for up to two months without eating, without any significant ill effect on the body. And our body has these evolutionary mechanisms to be able to maintain its energy levels for long periods of time without putting calories into the system. And that spike in human growth hormone, once again, from an evolutionary perspective, it makes sense. So human growth hormone will help us preserve our lean muscle mass. So it stops our body from preferentially breaking down our muscles, the, the good stuff. And when you think of that caveman wandering around in winter, he needed to somehow preserve his muscle mass so that he could hunt and gather in these winter months. And so it makes sense that we'd be releasing more human growth hormone to help preserve that muscle mass so that 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 person could stay functional to hunt and gather and scavenge what they could in terms of calories over winter. So number one of the lesser known benefits of intermittent fasting is these spikes in human growth hormone that we see when we're in the fasted state. (laughs) 